if a game crashes and you get this fatal error in clear obscure expedition 33 then make sure to follow these instructions very carefully and they'll guide you on how to resolve this problem now step one to resolve this issue which say fatal error in clear obscure expedition 33 as you see here on the screenshot try adding this negative d3 d12 or negative dx11 on your game's steam launch option then verify integrity and launch it again so start by copying this which is negative d3 d12 and then open your steam so launch steam go to your pc home screen and open steam like this then come here to your steam library right click on your game which is clear obsca expedition so make sure to select your game and then right click on your game which is clear obsca select here on properties and then on the steam launch option here make sure to type this or paste this which is negative d3 d12 right on your game which is clear obsca then try to verify integrity for game files by coming here to installed files and then verify integrity for game files if you're still facing again the same issue and your game crashes then type this which is negative D, e, dx11 exactly like this then verify integrity for game files again and then try to relaunch it and check if a problem has been resolved if you have done so but you're still facing again the same issue now just try the steps here turn down your graphic settings to low disable vsync and restart the game if it still fails set displayed mode to windowed so turn down your graphic settings to low disable vsync and restart the game if still fails set display mode to windowed if you've done so but are still facing again the fatal error make sure to update your graphic drivers now your graphic drivers may be outdated if you're using nvidia make sure to open the nvidia app if you're using the amd use the amd adrenaline software so since i'm using nvidia i'll open the nvidia app like this on my pc now come here to the drivers section and make sure to check for any updates here by clicking this is spinning cycle if there are any updates here they will be found here if there are any updates make sure to select here download so for me i've already installed the up to date as you can see my drivers are up to date so make sure to install your drivers and they are up to date now if you've done so but you're still facing again the same issue try downloading this crash fix from github the link will be available on the description of this video now to select that link it will take you to this github page here make sure to scroll down here and select where it is written as you can see here which say installation download the latest release from here so select where it is written here and then i'll just open this page again scroll down and you'll see here on the assets tab now download for if you're using the game from steam or from the xbox game pass make sure to download it from whether steam if you're using from steam make sure to download it from steam if you're launching the game from steam or if you're launching the game from xbox game pass make sure to download it from the xbox game pass so i'll download it for steam so if you, after downloading it it's a zip file now after downloading such zip file now follow the instruction which have been written here on the installation extract the contents of the release zip in the game folder so make sure to extract that zip folder in your directory for the game which is a game which is clear which is written here clear obscure expedition 33 so make sure to extract the contents of the release zip into the game folder after that try to launch the game and your problem should just be resolved if you're still facing again the same issue try disabling overlays one by one to identify the culprit msi afterburner river tuna is one of the most common causes of crashes in this game so make sure to disabling overlays may help msi afterburner river tuna is one of the most common causes of crashes in this game i hope this tutorial will help you fix this fatal error make sure to follow these instructions very carefully and let me know in the comment section if this tutorial has helped you